This video is my critical analysis of a teaching practice, and I pick the year eight science class from St. Mary's College. This is a chemistry class, and they have already started this topic two weeks prior to this session. The teacher said that it's very important to structure her lessons and to make sure that the students have a basic foundation and they can relate to the um, next lesson, which is actually a very good strategy. And I'm going to use that when I become a teacher one day. And the teacher was able to um, create and maintain a safe and positive learning environment. So when it comes to safety, especially that this is a science class, so they are in the laboratory and they are dealing with chemicals, the teacher thoroughly reminds her student about it and made sure that they are geared up to um, to safety and that explain to them what's going to happen if ever there's any accidents. And that is very important because as a teacher, it's the safety of students that we have to also prioritize even in the classroom, even um, or within the school premises. So it's our responsibility and we are accountable for that. Now, I can also see that uh, there is an evidence that the teacher and the students have a very good respectful relationship. And the fact that the teacher is able to um, advise them to do this and do that and no dilly-dallying, the students um, just follow the instruction and engage into the activity. And the other thing that what... I can use in the future and what I've learned from the teacher is that it is so good to know more about your students and she mentioned that that her students have different ways of learning in which she can um, some of her students love writing and loves to learn about theory and some of her students would prefer the verbal um, participation or um, the physical representation and um, she said that if Within that way, um, in accommodating all the learning styles of the students, at least she was um, able to make sure that nobody missed out um, in learning um, that activity. So the other thing that I have learned from her is the, um, you know, effective representation of a learning. So in that case, they're supposed to make fireworks, but because of safety issues, um, they are not. Um, able to do it. So instead, the teacher um, let the students engage in a science experiment wherein there's a chemical um, reactions that would create or produce color effects the same manner as the fireworks. So in that alone, the students um, was able to learn in a different way, but the same context. And being a teacher, it is also very important to be engaged with the students as they were doing um, the groupings and to check out if they're still on the right track. And that's what the teacher was doing. So I have learned that if the, the students trust you and they respect you, they will really do their best to participate and be respectful on your class and um, it's like a give and take relationship. It's so obvious that um, the teacher also respects and values the students, not just a student, but as an individual. So this is one way um, to make sure that classroom management is um, very important to um, maintain.